Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 33, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class will teach you how to relink your back-end files into a front-end, whether it's with Microsoft Access, SQL Server Online, one or multiple back-end files, you name it. Then we will start working with the file system object, getting back into our file I.O. lessons. This will be parts one and two of that. Of course, this is the 33rd level of my developer courses. I recommend you have taken all my beginner, expert, and other developer courses. And I'm going to add developer 30 and 31 for the other file I.O. lessons where we talk about basic VB file I.O. It's, it's good to know that stuff before you get into the file system object stuff, which is a little more advanced. I recommend you don't skip levels. In fact, I recommend it so much, I wrote a whole article about it, so go read that page. I will be using an Access 365 subscription. It's currently October of 2021, so it's roughly equivalent to Microsoft Access 2019. The file system object stuff and most of the code that I'm going to be covering in today's class has worked all the way back to Access 2000, I'm pretty sure. And of course, if you have questions, just scroll down the page and post them down at the bottom. Be sure to answer them as soon as we can. Or you can post your general Access questions in the forum. It's not only me, but all my other advanced developer students. I love them very much, and they help me out a lot by answering questions as well. And, of course, be sure to check out my kind of almost sort of daily video podcast about Access. It covers all the weird stuff. Uh, tech help. In fact, some of the videos in today's class were taken from some of my tech help videos as well. So there's lots of good stuff in there. Let's take a closer look at what we're going to be covering in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to learn how to use the link table manager to relink your tables just in case your back end database files have been moved or renamed. In lesson two, we'll learn how to use VBA to automatically relink to the back end file. It'll prompt you and say, hey, looks like your file has moved. Where is it? Browse to the file, select it, and then access will relink to it automatically. This method will be good for relinking to a single back end file. In lesson three, we'll cover multiple files. In lesson three, we're going to loop through all of the tables in the database, find out if they're attached tables or not, check to make sure they're attached, and if not, prompt the user, where'd you put the backend file, and then continue on. So you can have multiple backend files and reattach them using the methods in lesson three. In lesson four, we will learn how to automatically relink ODBC backend files, including those to SQL Server. In lesson five, we are returning to file I.O., we're going to start working with the file system object. We're going to learn about early binding versus late binding. The file system object object library, the Windows script host. We're going to learn about the current project.path command, which we've talked about before, but that's how you figure out what folder your access database is located in. Then we'll learn how to create a folder with the create folder command. And we'll learn how to loop to create multiple subfolders. In lesson six, we're continuing with the file system object. We'll learn about the get folder command, where we can get an object reference to a folder. Then we can access all of its properties and collections, such as its subfolders collection. Get a list of all the subfolders under a folder. We'll learn about file and folder properties, things like date created, date last accessed, all that stuff. The size of the folder, that's very handy, where you can get a, a byte size of all the files and folders under a folder. That's really, that's huge. Then we'll learn about the attributes like hidden, system, read-only, and so on, and how to change those attributes. That's all in Lesson 6.